after me. Three, two, one. One, two, three. <sighs> Come on. Yay, Miko? Hello. I don't imagine if I actually flip this around. Oh? You recognize me right away. Your brain seems relatively unscathed. This is good news. I think I'm actually gonna flip this cutscene around. It's just as well, really, with the amount of effort it took me to get you back here. Honestly, it was like you were glued to the ground back there. She acting different? I, she acting normal from what I can remember. Am I? Maybe it's because I had the other shrine maidens leave. Anyway, I've always been like this. People show you whatever side of themselves they want you to see. I know this for a fact. Every side of me is the real me. People just like to define things in all sorts of arbitrary ways. This is a human society, <sighs> at the moment anyway, and I'm just doing as I please. Uh, Paimon didn't quite follow. <laughs> Study humans a while longer, my little friend. You'll see what I mean. I own a human to have mean you have uh, the animal ears like sucrose, but I think those are still humans in a way. From, from the Balal there. I don't know why, but the Votui, like, they have like three or four names, and sometimes I get confused. Like, Tartaria, Chad, and his real name that I don't know. Right! Paimon was so focused on the Traveler that Paimon didn't notice what you did to get Scaramouche off our backs! Really? Like, I was about to comment about that. Even though we are knocked down, Paimon was still there. But they have to write this line to say, oh yeah, the Paimon wasn't focused on that discussion, was focused on us. Oh my god, how annoying. What if I told you it was a secret art from the Grand Narukami Shrine, and that I had the Balladeer down on his knees, begging for mercy in an instant? Would you believe me? It could not be fun to watch it. But again, could have been nice. <laughs> well, maybe you should be worrying less about that and more about how exactly you're going to thank me, no? Hmm. Maybe some of your neural circuitry is less intact than I thought. Wait, wait what? Neural circuitry? Are we a robot? Ah, uh, Yai-sama. I think this is like the first time when I heard this kind of pronunciation, like Sama, Chen, something like that. I didn't mean you had to be so formal about it. I need your actions, not your words. <laughs> hmm, the delusions. They're still on your mind, aren't they? Yeah, I want to know what happened there. You needn't worry. The leader of Watatsumi Island took some troops to clear the place out. She's also issued a strict ban on the use of delusions across the whole army. With their stronghold exposed, I doubt the Balladeer is stubborn enough to try and retaliate now on his colleague's behalf. It would be more trouble than it's worth. Ah, oh, I must say, I would relish the opportunity to watch the Fatui getting a taste of their own medicine. Well, anyway, that's Ongonomi Kokomi. She really outdid herself this time. I'd love to have another chat with her again in person. But alas, belief systems can be such a hindrance sometimes. A hindrance? Should you really be saying that as the Gucci of the Grand Shrine? Anyway, 
I'm only telling you this to stop you worrying so that you can focus on something I need you to do for me. Okay, what do we have to do now? You've met her, right? You mean the maid? I'm not talking about the puppet. I mean her. You've met her, yes? I'm kind of surprised now that like we, I don't know, know where the Duke's like that was inside or something like that. Yes, the true Raiden Shogun, who meditates endlessly in the plane of Euthymia to preserve her being. Her name is A. Are you saying that the one we met at the ceremony was just a puppet? And the real Raiden Shogun is the one that the Traveler met later? And does that mean that when the battlefield changed, so did the opponent? Again, consider that Wien was like in a fight, like very fast pace. I don't think we have time to focus or see the difference in that match. <sighs> because this is the ride in Shogun's eternity. Before pursuing the eternity of her nation, she had to reach eternity for herself. Since the physical body will eventually turn to dust, she replaced hers with that of a puppet. And since the spirit is susceptible to erosion, she placed her consciousness inside her sword, where she remains in a meditative state, free from all disturbances. Oh. That's actually interesting to see. So the sword that turns a polar user to a sword user. That's actually... Hmm. So, that place that she carved open with her sword... The plane of Euthymia. Essentially, the world inside her mind. A place that typically only allows her existence. She shuts herself off in her inner world, leaving all the affairs of the outside world to be dealt with by a puppet, who has a singular focus on the pursuit of eternity. Huh. This is the approach A has come up with for realizing eternity. Oh my god, I'm so... I'm so sad that I didn't get involved. Maybe in the next run. Although now I'm in the full lockdown, I'm not gonna pull in any banner for now. You mean Morax? Hmm, it's been a while since I last saw him. A surprising decision by Liu as Archon. What a fascinating god he is. It seems like the Raiden Shogun's approach solves the problem Zhang Li was facing, though. <laughs> Perhaps. Or you could take the view that she's acting like a little child, throwing a temper tantrum and locking herself in her room. Don't you think? <laughs> that sum is so quiet. Like, if you see in the Twitter, like, there are like the comics of the Ride and Sun and the other character turn into babies. Eh? Some of them are really cute. Like, if you saw the. I'm gonna put an image, but I'm not sure if I'm supposed to put image in the video that I'm gonna modernize. Maybe I'm gonna let the link, so yeah. The grand notion of eternity she once held has long since given way to the eternity of her own definition. And ultimately, her eternity is defined by fear. The fear of loss. So what do you want us to do? The truth is, we are on the same side. You want to save the people of Inazuma from the Vision Hunt Decree. So do I. The only difference is that I'd rather like to save this nation and save A while we're at it. The key is that the plane of Euthymia represents A's inner world. Defeat her there and you may well have the chance to shake the Raiden Shogun's will. So this is your plan? To abolish the Vision Hunt Decree? Not by talking her out of it, or through an armed resistance, but by... Uh... Hopping inside the Raiden Shogun's inner world? It seems so. You're a fast learner. In short, this is the last chance to get Inazuma back on track. 
Otherwise, an eternity of darkness awaits. Okay, I have one question. When are you gonna come out in the banner, guys? Don't you realize how special you are? Remember, the plane of Euthymia is a space where only she is allowed to exist. The fact that you could appear there tells us one crucial thing. That you have piqued her interest. Perhaps it's because she has never seen an individual who is so unpredictable in the face of eternity. Has no one else ever been in there? None. No one has seen the devotee of eternity since she shut herself away. In fact, no one even knows what it looks like in there. Your existence is more than just an opportunity. It's the very key to all of this. To that I say, well done, child. You did not disappoint me after all. Wait, you're leaving? Where are you going? Anti-Raiden Shogun training. I've prepared a special program just for you. Uh, what? Come along. Well, there was something. Where did she, where did she go? Oh. We're gonna do it here? Uh, and what's this mechanism for? What is that? Think of it as a catalyst that can reproduce the Raiden Shogun's combat moves. I made it from my own memory, which means it should be perfectly accurate. <laughs> Unless, of course, her skills have declined. It'll give you a chance to figure out her moves in advance and come up with a counter strategy. That should be a big help, don't you think? The aim is to try to not get hit by the attacks. Since you've escaped certain death at her hand once already, I presume this shouldn't be more than you can handle. Well, if you we have Johnny Hill. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so we're gonna train you how to face one. Well, I willingly yield. Stabilize. Uh, after like how many times? Oh my god, how many times was that? Are you happy now? <sighs> what a workout! So how come you know so much about the Raiden Shogun? Hmm? You mean me? Hmm, perhaps it's because... I'm the Electro Archon's servant. What? Like the is to Barbados? Huh. Never would have guessed by looking at you. <laughs> it sounds like you'd be more persuaded if you saw me in my fox form. Fox form? In your dreams. Oh! <laughs> More curious than my appearance is the fact that she and I don't see each other anymore, wouldn't you say? A nation to last for all eternity is a dream that she and I both share. Hmm. But I don't think that's the same thing as complete stasis. 
At some point, she started going down a path that became increasingly difficult for me to join her on. You know, A never said goodbye to me before she stepped into the plane of Euthymia. Perhaps it's just my wishful thinking, but I think she did this deliberately, as her way of keeping our friendship eternal. By neither saying goodbye nor seeing me again, our relationship will remain forever how it was. In her mind, at least. Since we've embarked on two very different paths to eternity, I can either continue to maintain the status quo or do whatever it takes to bring her back on track, regardless of the cost. I have chosen the latter because... If stubbornly isolating herself in the plane of Euthymia is her idea of eternity, then my duty as her eternal servant is to drag her back out of her own head and into the real world. Aw, Miko, you sound like a really great friend. <laughs> I'm only telling you this so you can properly understand my plan. Could you possibly spare the sentimentality for the time being? Anyway, that's enough chit chat. Time for anti Raiden Shogun training phase two. Oh no. There's a part two? Uh, this is gonna be. Submit for judgment. You did quite admirably. I could see your determination and your hard work. So, do you think we're ready to beat the Raiden Shogun now? How do I put this? You're no match for her at all. Wait, what? So all of this was a complete waste of time? <laughs> you are the most important part of the plan. I know what I'm doing. You don't think I'd leave you with no chance to win at all, do you? Speaking of... Traveler, what do you think of the Resistance Army's chances? <laughs> You're absolutely right. Perhaps they occasionally best the Shogun's army in open battle, but when they face the Raiden Shogun herself... Considering even their visions have been taken from them and embedded in the statue, they're ultimately quite helpless. You don't have to be so blunt. The Traveler's the captain of Swordfish, too, you know. <laughs> I don't mean to belittle them. On the contrary. It is precisely because of their helplessness, because their visions have been taken from them, that their will is all the more precious. In short, if everything goes according to plan, they may yet prove to be helpful. What plan? Oh, goodness. Is that the time? I have another guest to receive today. We can talk more back at the Grand Narukami Shrine. All of the setting you're entertaining guests? <sighs> Hyman's really struggling to understand how you work. Oh boy, that was brutal.
Oh, got you. Okay, we can talk here. You ask me about the plan. In fact, I've been mulling it over for quite a long time. Before one makes a plan, what is the most important thing one must do? Huh, don't know. Uh, what is it? You must understand the situation you are facing. The Vision Hunt Decree was obviously devised as a means of manipulating the Shogun. The ones behind it knowing full well her susceptibility as a puppet, with a single-minded focus on eternity. Yes. This is the strongest piece of evidence we have to go on. Now, we also know that every aspect of the Vision Hunt Decree's promulgation and execution has been enthusiastically spearheaded by the Tenryo Commission from the outset. Ayaka was saying that every time they submitted a petition against the Vision Hunt Decree, the Tenryo and Kanjo Commissions would veto it straight away with no negotiation. What was the commission so was part of the Tenryo or the Kanjo? Yes. It's all too clear that both the Tenryo and Kanjo commissions are in some form of collusion with the Fatui. <sighs> Foolish humans, blinded by their greed. Thus, the current situation is that our Fatui antagonist is still at large, has the two rogue commissions wrapped around their finger, and is distributing delusions from the shadows. Unfortunately, Given that said antagonist is under the protection of two commissions and the Raiden Shogun, we would be rather hard-pressed to track them down. So, what should we do? It will be easier for us to start with someone from Inazuma. So my plan is... to incite rebellion in the Tenryo Commission. Rebellion? What are you talking about? After everything you just said, it sounds like the Tenryo Commission has rebelled already! <laughs> <laughs> when I say rebellion, I don't mean betraying the Shogunate. I mean, inciting a certain someone to betray the Tenryo Commission. If we manage to convince her, I'm quite sure we'll be able to get you another audience with the Raiden Shogun. And who is that? I cannot bet the uh, I'll give you a clue. She's currently in charge of the Shogun's army, she visits the shrine at this time every month, and she is our guest today. She also appears to be standing right behind you. Uh-oh. Don't move a muscle. You've got some nerve showing up here in the shrine when there's an active warrant for your arrest. Don't even think about trying anything. Surrender now. You're coming with me to headquarters. Seize him! Affirmative. Ah! Uh, Uh-uh-uh. It seems that you're forgetting. This is the Grand Narukami Shrine. Use of force here is strictly forbidden. Before you proceed, which of you would like to face criminal charges for dishonoring the Shogun, hmm? Ugh! Gujiyai, please tell me you are not sheltering a wanted criminal here. We are just friends. I don't see what sheltering has to do with it. Tell your subordinates to leave. We have things to discuss. All of you outside. As you wish. Gujiyai, I'm a little curious. Does it not also dishonor the Shogun to hide a wanted criminal at her grand shrine? <laughs> You're the same as ever, Kujosara. No one can match you when it comes to loyalty to the Shogun. As a servant, loyalty to the Shogun is my duty. And as a warrior, I dedicate my life to following the way of the Shogun. We're gonna have a cat fight here. Like, I bet you guys know about their fight. Like, I don't think he's Ken or... Like, these two are like femme girls for a Shogun. And... Even though she will one day... Sees your vision too? The Vision Hunt Decree is the Shogun's chosen course. And I shall not question it. Oh, it's tragic. 
such wholehearted devotion rendered meaningless by circumstance. Have you been kept in the dark? Or are you the only one left in the light? Lady Guji, I need you to be direct. Tell me exactly what you mean. The Vision Hunt Decree is a trap. Part of a Fatui plot to bring Inazuma to its knees. And your masters, the Kujo clan of the Tenryo Commission, they're the ones keeping the truth from reaching the Shogun. You're saying the Kujo clan... betrayed the Shogunate? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Guji Yai, your allegation is not only dangerous, but ridiculous. The Tri Commission has served the Shogun since ancient times, and remains absolutely loyal to this day. Ever since I was adopted by the Kujo clan, I have seen and heard nothing but pure devotion toward the Shogun. At every level of the Tenryo Commission, especially from the head of the clan, Kujo Takayuki. He reveres the Muso no Hitotachi more than anyone. My own respect for the Shogun pales in comparison to his. How could he ever even dream of acting against the Shogun? Three days. Come back here in three days and I will show you the evidence. As a Guji, there's one thing I know very well. People believe whatever they want to believe. Some things you do not see, simply because you do not wish to look. And so, it falls to me to place the truth before your eyes, in all its ugliness. Hmm. Three days? I'll be here. But if I don't see any evidence, I will demand a formal apology for slandering the Kujo clan. Also, he will have to come with me. Wonderful. Well, why did I stay? Then I'll see you in three days. I look forward to it very much. That was so scary! Hyman wasn't expecting to run into Kujusara here. But, Miko, you mentioned evidence of the Tenryo Commission's betrayal. Is that all in hand and good to go? Or... Let me guess, we, we have to look up for that in that three days. Am I right? Why are you always asking so many questions? Of course not. I just had to say something because I clearly wasn't convincing her. <sighs> not entirely unexpected. As plans go, changing the deity's mind is a huge gamble to begin with. We can't expect to be in control of every last detail when we're facing off against a god, can we? Okay, but what are we gonna do, though? We only have three days! If we want to get our evidence, we're going to need some help. Now, come with me. We must awaken the professional. <laughs>